Hey folks, welcome to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at this guy right here, Mysterium Hidden Signs. It is an expansion to the base game Mysterium and uh, comes with a whole bunch of new cards. Let's get down to the table and we'll take a look. Okay, so first thing in the expansion, uh, you get uh, six new character uh, cards, and you also get the, of course, the ghost character cards that come along with them. The artwork is along the same style of the original game, so there isn't any differentiation there. Uh, just six new characters that could possibly have been the perpetrator. And then along with those six new character cards, you also get six new location cards along with their uh, ghost location cards as well. And again, as you can see, artwork is still very thematic, very evocative, and uh, very creepy in, in many respects, especially that one. That's just too creepy. But uh, anyway, very cool artwork again, uh, keeping up with uh, that just amazing artwork from the base game. And then, of course, following suit, you also get six new object cards. Uh, these, of course, are the supposed murder weapons that the characters have used to kill the ghost, who is now trying to tell you who did it and how. Um, and some of them are, you know, that's, I can see that definitely. That's really gruesome. Ew. Um, I love hockey and games, but I'm not so sure about this one. That's probably a rather gruesome death as well. Um, yeah. Um, a toy block. A stamp. I guess so. It could happen. You never know. Of course, you also get the uh, ghost object cards as well that go along with each of the six. And then, of course, you're going to get a whole bunch of new vision cards, which the ghost is going to be using to try to tell the different uh, players of the game who did it and how and give them clues and whatnot. So uh, here is an example of all 42 cards. And that's that, 42 new vision cards. And then finally, if you were, if you got in on the first reproduction of Hidden Signs or afterwards, you're also going to get these uh, promotional cards that came in, a promotional character, promotional location, and a promotional object. And of course, they all come with their ghost card equivalents. So uh, that is the entirety of what comes in Mysterium. Now, you might be wondering, well, what new rules are there? Well, quite frankly, it says it right there, very succinctly. This is an expansion. All rules, all rules used in the base game still apply. The expansion does not introduce any additional rules. Just gives you more stuff to play with. So that is Mysterium Hidden Signs. The sheet that comes in the box says it all. There's no new rules, nothing new, just a bunch of new things that come that you can apply to your base game. You know, sometimes I wish that mm, expansions would do just that. Give me more stuff to use in my base game so that I can spice up the base game experience a little bit. Not always do we want brand new rules or new this or new that, although that is cool sometimes. Every once in a while though, it's cool to have an expansion that just gives you more of the same and uh, doesn't throw any curveballs at you. And that's exactly what Hidden Signs does. It just gives you more uh, things to widen the variability of your game a bit, and I think that's pretty cool. The artwork is, is on par, knocking it out of the park as far as the base game did it, so uh, there's no differentiation there at all, but this is just really, really cool stuff. So that is Mysterium Hidden Signs. Check it out. If you like Mysterium and you wish you had just something else, a little bit more oomph in your game, this is right down your alley. So go check it out. We'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>